Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is Night Reception. From the developer that gave us Donna Knight. I was a big fan of that game and I like the principles behind it so yeah let's see what Night Reception gives us. It was just another regular shift for me. You know, checking guests in, finding their rooms and making sure they were settled. Nothing out of the ordinary except I wasn't in the best mood that night. I had a fight with my girlfriend before heading. She was upset, saying I work too much, never have time for us. Honestly, it felt like just another argument. I figured once the night ended, I'd smooth things over. As usual, the guests arrived, and I did my job. Greet them, pull up their reservation, and guide them to their rooms. Simple, right? But that night, there was something different in the air. Maybe it was just me, but... Greet them pull up their reservation, and guide them to their rooms. Maybe it was just me, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't quite right, and it turns out I wasn't wrong. Hmm. Well, here we are. Oh no. Oh no. I've just realized we're in Grimwild. This is the Grimwild Hotel. I am the Conehead Reception Guy. <laughs> well, let's have a little looky. Um... Uh, Oh, nice. We've got a little stove here, a little microwave, some utensils. Yeah, in the uh, in the other game, the Donna Knight game, we had to prepare... Oh, we can go in there. We had to prepare Donners for our guests that arrived, and um, that was a lot of fun. Oh, nothing but... Nothing but net! I know someone's just walked in, but I've, I've got to make this... Ah, uh, it's gone behind the... Oh, well. Hey, man. I mean, that's a very unique skill you have, being able to twist your head around like that, like an owl. Hello. Good evening. The name's Victor. I've booked a room for the night. Of course, Mr. Victor. Follow me. I'll show you to your room. Thanks. Been traveling all day. I hope the room's comfortable. i got to tell you, I've been in those hotel motel rooms. Um, if the cockroaches don't get you, then yeah, it's a good night. Let's see. So... Oh, I see. Interesting. Victor. No room found. His name's Victor, right? He just gave us Mr. Do I have to type in Mr. Victor? Mr. Victor. No, no room found. You're not on the database, my friend. You are not on the database. I don't know what to tell you. Um, huh. You want some cologne? Hey, there you go. Give you some of that good stuff. Um, hang on. Let me get my... It's my first day on the job. It's my first day on the job. No room found. Um, Victor? No? Sorry, man. Can you tell me what your name was again? I... I... Apparently not. Okay. Uh, this is going to be awkward because I don't know which room you're in because apparently you're not on our system. If you're not in the system, you're not coming in, you know? Uh, Victor? Ah, room number six. I t <laughs> okay. Excellent. You are on our system, just as Victor. Room number six. Here we go. Right, follow me. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, you are following me. Okay, good. Good times. Don't have to follow so close. Two, three. You're on the end here, my friend. You, you want me to go in? Right, okay. I thought I'd just give you the keys and um, that would be it. There you go. Here we are, Mr. Victor. If you need anything, or have any complaints, feel free to call the front desk. Thanks, I'll let you know if I need anything. Appreciate it. Alright. I'll just check in the bathroom, make sure there's no um, spiders in it. Nope, I won't, apparently, because I can't go in. Uh, enjoy your stay. Bye. I can't run. I have no inventory. I have no flashlight. The very dark motel room. Yes, if you've <laughs> seen some of the recent uh, games on the channel, that you'll know Grimwild Horrors, this is the same 
motel, but we are actually playing as the as the receptionist now, which is interesting. I like that. Uh, so that was Victor. Okay. Okay. Gave him some cologne as well. Oh, we have a new guest arriving. Hello, sir. You're a happy chappy. Hi. I have a reservation under Evelyn. Certainly, Evelyn. I'll take you to your room. Follow me, please. Thanks. It's a bit late, isn't it? This place feels so quiet. That's why people come here, Evelyn, to a motel, because uh, they want the quiet. Room number one. Okay, maybe I spelt Victor's name wrong before. Maybe I didn't have the capital letter down there. Come on then, Evelyn. You got no bags or anything? No? No? Well, I gotta tell you. You're in luck. This is prime real estate. I'm telling you. All the celebs stay here. We won't talk about Diddy's infamous parties here. All right, Evelyn. Once again, I'm just going to check the bathroom for you. No, nope, door's closed. You got your uh, cable TV here. Some weird glowing green screen. Don't know what that's for. You got a phone, some magazines. The cleaner didn't have time to put them in the piles. And a little, little radio there. Hope you enjoy your stay. Here's your room, Evelyn. If you need anything or have any issues, just call the front desk. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. The room seems nice. I mean, we got the blood out of the uh, duvet, yeah, the other day, so, you know. Four-star Yelp review or a five-star would be most appreciated. Thank you. Bye. So far, everything seems normal. So far, everything seems nice. Can I watch the TV? Who's this guy? Hmm. Oh. I hear a car. Ah, a car's just pulled up. Oh, we have another guest coming. What time is it? She said it's late, but I don't see a clock anywhere. Hey, name's Scarlet. I have a reservation, right? Yes, Scarlet. Let me show you to your room. Great. Lead the way. This place is kind of creepy, don't you think? Well, you know, Scarlet... I don't know what to tell you. I've worked here for all but a day. Room number 12. So there aren't that many rooms left, right? We've got two more rooms. No bags? All right. I think we're going to be going upstairs. Follow me. Thank you very much. I mean, the parking lot could do with a little bit more lighting, yes. That's what I'll tell management. This is your room, Scarlet. If you have any requests or concerns, feel free to call the front desk. Got it. Let's hope I don't need to. Thanks. By my estimations, we have two more people to check in this evening. I better water the plants until the new customers arrive. Okay. Where would I pick up things to water the plants? Hmm? Oh, I did see there was something outside, wasn't there? Yeah. The watering can. I saw it there. There we go. Um, inside plants need love too. Is that all the plants, or...? Oh, no. We have some in the rec room. That's got to be everything, right? Hey, hey. Doors have been a bit funky. Oh, and they wouldn't have any plants around here, would they? Ah, fuse box. Infamous fuse boxes. What's that? Oh, hi. I'm going to drop you here. Seems like someone's playing on the swings. Oh, hi, pal. Hey, what are you doing here? It's the middle of the night. Aren't you a little too old to be playing on a swing? Old? Who's counting the years anymore? Time stops here. In this place. What do you mean? 
Shouldn't you be in your room or home? Home? I've been waiting here, watching. You've noticed it too, haven't you? Noticed what? Y you're not making any sense. You'll see. Soon enough. We all do. Eventually. What are you talking about? What will I see? They always come when the lights go out. Okay. Nothing, uh, nothing suspicious here. All right, you play on the swings. Everything's good. Are we in like some twilight zone area? Is that what you're telling me? They come when the lights go out. All right. Well, we've ordered the plants, as far as I can see. Um, hmm. Yeah, they're all watered. We have another client coming. It's either going to be 10 or 11. My money's on 11. We shall find out. Hi, I'm Lydia. Can you take me to my room, please? Of course, Lydia. I'll take you there right now. Follow me. Thank you. I just... I need to get settled quickly. Not suspicious at all, Lydia. If that's even your real name. I like how... <laughs> room number 10. Ah, I was wrong. I was wrong. I thought it was going to be 11. All right. Come on, Lydia. The smiley face. We're upstairs again. Next to uh, 12. So, that man still there? No, he's gone. He's had enough playtime on the swings. I don't know why, but I'm getting the feeling that we're in purgatory. This motel is like a purgatory area. Don't know why. Don't know what these people have done. Don't know what crimes they've committed, but I'm just getting that vibe. Here's your room, Lydia. If you need anything or have any problems, just call us. Thank you. I, I will. But you may need to get out of my way. Okay. Even though we have one... Oh, the lights are out. Are the lights out, or is it just me? I think that's just me. Getting suspicious now. Getting very suspicious. No, everything's okay. Even though the last room key is 11, we're still going to check a person's name, all right? Because they might not be logged in as a guest. I love the fact that they just give their first names. Well, they don't have to give a surname. It's just, hey, I'm Scarlet. I'm Lydia. Here we go. We've almost got like a full motel. We are doing good work tonight. Hells yeah. We're doing great work. Hello, sir. Evening. The name's Damien. I think I have a room reserved near room 11. Yes, Damien. Follow me. I'll show you to your room. Perfect. Let's hope for a peaceful night. All right. Let's just, I'm just going to check. I know it's the only one left, but I'm just going to check. Because he could be the Antichrist. We don't know. Room 11. No, he is there. He's logged in. All right then, Damien. Let's go. Is there like some kind of thruple thing going on here? Is that what you're telling me? Are, are you going with Scarlet and Evelyn? You've all met up here for some raunchy evenings. Hmm? Hmm? Hey, man. I just run the hotel. It's up to you what you guys get up to in here. I just have the disinfectant, right? I just get the cleaners to clean up afterwards. This is your room, Damien. Feel free to call the front desk if you need anything. Oh, I will, if necessary. Thanks. All right. Uh, just when you thought it was going to be a pleasant evening, one of them's going to be asking for something now, aren't they? I'm coming as fast as I can. I'm hop-stepping it. Good evening, this is the hotel kitchen. It's time for the dinner service. How many meals should we prepare for your guests tonight? Good evening, we'll need five meals. Got it, five meals. We'll have them ready and send them to the lobby in about 15 minutes. Perfect, thanks. You're welcome. If there's anything else, feel free to give us a call. Wow. Yeah, if it's the middle of the night, I wouldn't assume that a 
fleabag hotel motel type area would be doing this kind of service but hey we're going we're going for that michelin star you know oh wow um um ronald hey here are the meals you ordered five and two thanks uh you seem in a hurry Yo, the faster I finish, the quicker I can end my shift and get out of here. This place gives me the creeps at night. I get it. Same here. Anyway, thanks again. No problem. Take care. Thanks, Ronalds. McDonald's. I mean, do I have to sign for this? Um, I didn't know we were just ordering McDonald's, but okay. And how? where am I taking these to? Are they just... <laughs> All right. Now I have to remember what goddamn... Right, so we had the first one, which was on the ground floor, wasn't it? They haven't even ordered these, have they? Is this just like a mandatory thing? Uh-huh. Okay. Good evening, Victor. Here's your dinner. Ah, oh, finally. I'm starving, thanks. No problem. If you need anything else, just give us a call. We'll do. Enjoy the rest of your night. Oh man, I'm not gonna remember. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna go to the top first because that's where I remember the people being. Um, I'm still just white Ronald McDonald. Okay. All right. Do we have to do these in a particular order as well? Do we have to do these in the order that? I hope not, because I can't remember. I know there's someone else on the ground floor. Ah, it was one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If this is like a memory thing, then I am going to be buggered. I do remember number one. Oi! Oh, you scared me. Whoa, sorry. I was just about to knock. Yes, I was a little too eager for my dinner. No harm done. Here's your meal. Thanks, and sorry about that. You really caught me off guard. It's all right. If you need anything else, just let me know. Will do. Have a good night. I think the other ones are up top now. I should have been paying more attention. And then, of course, there's the man on the swing. Do we give him a meal as well? Don't know. Huh. Well, we've got the three up here, so that should be it, right? I think. We've got Scarlet, we had Damien, and we had Evelyn. Yes. That's right. I don't remember which order they were in, but we'll see. Dinner delivery, Scarlet. Thank you. I was just about to ask when it would arrive. Here you go. Let us know if you need anything. Your thing. Enjoy your evening. Mm. Mm. I've got to say, this is some fine service. If they haven't even asked for it, and we're just giving them meals willy-nilly. All right. And next door is Damien, right? I think I could carry two trays at once. You know, multitask and all that kind of stuff, but... Okay. There are apparently two endings to this, so um, I'm going to be quite intrigued as to... what area will give us the two endings. Here's your dinner, Damien. Appreciate it. Took you long enough. Sorry for the wait. Anything else you need? Not for now, but I'll let you know. You do that, Damien. You do that. And then our last port of call would be for Evelyn. Sorry, my mind is still kind of reeling that Ronald McDonald himself has turned up in his little cart to deliver us some meals. I mean, that is some... Um, wow, that's some service going on, I think. But, uh, you know... So it should be 10. Oh. Here's your meal, Lydia. I thought her name was Evelyn. Oh, thank you so much. This place is so quiet. It's eerie. Yeah, it's definitely peaceful. If you need anything, feel free to call. Thanks, I will. Have a good night. Okay. Oh, hang on. What was going on there? Uh... 
door 11 opened. Is her name Lydia or Evelyn? I thought it was Evelyn. Hmm. Okay. I'll play along for now. I think definitely something's going up with Ly Lydia, Evelyn, and Damien. All right, I've delivered all the meals. Great. How did it go? Any issues? Not really, but one of the guests said they thought someone knocked on their door earlier. N did they? <laughs> That's news to me. It wasn't me. Hmm, could have been another guest. These places can play tricks on your mind at night. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, thanks for the quick service, Ronald. I'll be glad when my shift's over. I hear ya. I've got one more round of deliveries, and then I'm out of here too. Hang in there. Will do. Have a good night. You too. Stay safe out here. Bye, Ronald. Is the Hamburglar going to make uh, an appearance at any time? Hmm. Maybe I should have given him some cologne. Huh. Oh. We knew it was going to happen. We saw the fuse box. We did see the fuse box. Is our man in the swing going to be there again? Mr. Davies, what are you doing here? I didn't expect to see you. You actually scared me for a second. Ah, oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to. I'm staying in room three tonight, just checking in on things after the power went out. Right. I, I forgot you were staying here. Everything's fine now, I just had to reset the breakers. Good, good. I was worried something more serious happened. The power can be tricky sometimes. Yeah, it's all sorted now. Well, since you're here, the reception desk looks a bit messy. Don't you think? Could you tidy it up before the guests start noticing? Sure. I'll take care of it right now. Thanks. I'll head back to my room then. Let me know if anything else goes wrong. Okay. Are you the... Do you own this motel, Mr. Davies? Is that is that what we're saying? I'm not entirely sure. Right. Uh, hang on. This shit wasn't here before. All lies. It's all lies, I'm telling you. Right, let's grab the broom. Get that cobweb over here. Cobweb over there. Um, I mean, I think that's it, right? I don't see anything else. Hmm. Um, what are you? Hang on, hang on. What exactly are you? Okay. Am I tripping balls? Or um, am I meant to clean this up as well? The magazines? He said he was in room number three. Is he gone now? No, he's still there. That wasn't here before. I didn't see a spider web there. God damn it. Ah, what now? It never ends. Hello, is this a reception? I'm Scarlet, room 12. Listen, something strange has happened. While the power was out, someone tried to open my door. I thought it was you, but I didn't see anyone when I checked. That's unsettling. I'm really sorry about that. I'll come up right away and take a look. Okay, thank you, but please hurry. I feel really uneasy. Oh, God, again? Hello? Who is this? Is this some kind of joke? If you're messing with me, stop now. Say something. Who are you? If you don't stop, I'm calling the police. This isn't fun anymore. Well, we only had one call. That was from Scarlet, so... Someone's just breathing heavily down the uh, the old phone, hey? Scarlet was in room number 12, wasn't she? Scarlet, open the door. Is something wrong? I can't hear you. All right, I'm going to force it open. 
Surely I'd have a master key, right? I mean, everything's looking okay. This has gone too far. I can't handle this anymore. I need to get to the reception and call the police right away. I guess is the... She's locked in the bathroom? I think Damien's got a hand in this. I'm going to just go check. No, I can't. All right. Well, Mr. Davies is just... Can I just talk to him? I mean, he just seems to be sitting there on the end of the slide, just taking it all in. All right. I guess I'm phoning the police. Emergency services, what's going on? Someone's in one of the rooms. A woman is screaming for help. I think she's in danger. Where are you right now? I'm at the reception of Motel. <laughs> Just That's what it's called, this motel. Someone broke into her room. She's calling for help. Stay calm. We're sending officers now. Okay. And the power's gone out again. What? I guess that was one ending? Huh? So I wasn't meant to go that way, is that what you're telling me? And my... My walking speed has reduced significantly now, I can't... Huh. So we've been brought back to the moment where we're serving the food, all right? I have to do all this again? Okay. And I'm going at a very slower pace now for some reason. So the power's gone down, um, I'm just barricading myself into this room now, and I'm armed with a mop, god damn it. But this doesn't seem to be the way to go, so I'm not entirely sure. Well last time we tried to leave and we got stabbed by the guy, maybe we throw some cologne in his face. Um, yeah, don't know if we should venture out again, or if we're just going to get stabbed. Um, I was thinking that this door should be open, or maybe I'm meant to open this door, maybe I'm meant to unlock it beforehand or something? I'm going to try it again. Well, there you go, guys. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the second ending was. Um, I don't know if we had to do something with the fuse box, perhaps? Um, don't know. It seemed like Damien was a killer, but if I attempted to leave the motel reception desk after the police had called, or I'd called the police, then he just seemed to kill me all the time. I don't know where he turned up. I tried to go into the other room. I thought maybe one of the other doors would be open. Maybe I need to ask Mr. Davies to unlock the door. He just seemed to be sitting plainly on the uh, end of the slide there. Uh, maybe he opens the door for me. Don't know. The walking speed seemed to significantly decrease on the second playthrough, so um, I just didn't really have it in me to go through <laughs> giving people all their dinners again uh, to sort of scramble around and try and sort of find out what the second ending would be. So there you go. Damon was a killer. He turned up the motel room. But um, yeah, that wasn't too bad. I, I think I preferred the Donna Knight one to this, to be honest with you. Maybe I've just 
being given PTSD from Grimwild Horror uh, with that particular motel room. I like the mechanics of taking people's names and then showing them to their rooms. Um, maybe there could have been a bit more interactivity with them, not just sort of having Ronald McDonald turn up and then uh, feed them hamburgers. <laughs> maybe they could have their own special requests. Maybe they'd call the reception desk and I'd have to run other tasks for them whilst trying to find out that there was a killer in the motel room rather than it just happen all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, I think with a bit more development, this could be something a bit special. Um, I just think in its current state at the moment, it's just that little, it needs a little bit more work, but um, I enjoyed it for what it was worth. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments below, like or dislike the video, and please sub if you haven't already. Uh, otherwise, you'll be going to the infamous room 11 and never returning to the reception desk. Until the next one, stay ghoulish. Bye.